Beer tourism is something that is building and building. For a long time, people would make the trek to Belgium to see the traditional Belgian breweries, and I really encourage that if you're able to do so. Also, people will go to Germany to see traditional German breweries, and England to see the traditional English breweries. Those are all areas that have had a long history of brewing and have you know, enough breweries and a concentrated space that you really can make a trip and see you know, quite a few breweries and experience some local bars and have a great time. But something that's really taken off over the past few years is American beer tourism. And I, you know, I can't even tell you the difference that it's made you know, just in the past you know, two years to the state of Vermont with brewers such as Hill Farmstead, Alchemist, Lawson, um, and some of the finest beer bars. So what happens now is a lot of people, even from New York, you know, on their weekends, they'll drive up to Vermont and they'll hit two or three of you know, breweries that they can stop by and you know, procure you know, bottles of, um, to bring home. Also, they'll stop by the local bars so they can drink some of that beer, you know, right, you know, in the environment. And a lot of businesses is really, are really booming um, as a result. More traditional places in the United States for beer tourism are places like Colorado, which has, you know, just an amazing concentration of breweries. Also, San Diego, there's, you know, just a, a many, many very fine breweries in each of these places. So if you're looking towards a certain climate or weather that you'd prefer to visit, um, you know, choosing, choosing one of those and you can't go wrong. But also, there are so many craft breweries that have opened up over the past 10 years that there's probably not a region where you won't find many craft breweries. So if there's a trip that you want to take, I would just go online and search out you know, that region and look for craft breweries around and you might discover the next amazing craft brewery that no one knows about or you might find that your favorite craft brewery is right there and you know there are just so many right now it's we're really in the golden age of beer and going around to find your you know your favorite beers and you know see where they're produced it's it's a really gratifying way to spend some time